Welcome. I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to make peppermint white chocolate ganache. Let's get started. For our white chocolate peppermint ganache, we are going to need about three quarters of a cup of heavy cream or manufacturing cream, seven ounces of white chocolate like Ghirardelli or Kaibo are really good brands to use, and we're also going to need seven or eight mini little candy canes that we're going to crush up into small bite-sized pieces. We are going to start off with our three quarters of a cup of heavy cream or manufacturing cream. The first step that we need to do with this cream is we need to scald it. So we're going to be putting the cream into a pot and we're going to start to heat it up on like a medium or to medium low heat until it starts to scald. And what we're looking for as far as scalding is we're actually looking for bubbles to come around the rim of the pot. So I'm going to be heating this up and while it's heating up I'm going to chop up my chocolate. For chopping the chocolate, we're going to wind up utilizing a bread knife or a serrated knife. I find that the edge of this allows the chocolate to get chopped up much more rapidly than a standard chef's knife. And I like to start off with the corner of the chocolate and almost like shave the chocolate, if you will. Tip of the knife is going to stay in contact with the cutting board. Back of the knife is going to do the cutting. And I'm basically going to move the knife forward and down as I wind up doing the cut. You're going to find when you wind up doing this, compared to chopping up dark chocolate, White chocolate has uh, no cocoa powder in it at all. This is basically cocoa fat or cocoa butter. So it's gonna wind up chopping up and it's gonna have a little bit softer of a consistency than dark chocolate or milk chocolate. And I can hear that my cream is starting to scald. I'm gonna turn the heat off on that or lower it a little bit and continue to chop up the chocolate. I have some nice thin slivers. I'm gonna take my knife and go across. So now I have some nice little chunks. The smaller you cut your chocolate, the quicker it's going to melt. After we wind up getting the chocolate melted, or chopped up rather, we're gonna go ahead and put it into a bowl. While my cream is scalding and my white chocolate is chopped up sitting in a bowl, I'm gonna take my peppermint candy canes and I'm gonna chop them up, about seven or eight. I'm gonna wind up putting them into a, a zip top bag or some other kind of heavy plastic bag. And I'm basically gonna break them up. I usually find a heavy mallet or a heavy pan will wind up doing this job very, very quickly. You could even use a rolling pin if you don't have a mallet like this. Some nice uniform chunks like this. And at this time, our cream has a skin forming on the top of it. You can actually see that there were bubbles all around the rim of the pot. This is what we call scalded. I'm gonna take the chocolate and put it into the center of the bowl. Found one piece there, it's a little bit big. I'm gonna break it down a little bit. I'm gonna pour the scalded cream right over the chocolate. Really important at this time that we actually let the mixture sit for a good minute or two. Rubber spatula is gonna go right into the center. The hot cream is gonna to start to melt the chocolate. And after a few moments, you can take your spatula and start to slowly stir it, working from the inside towards the outer edges. And you'll see that the hot cream is starting to melt the white chocolate almost immediately. While it's still really warm, of course, it'll be very, very soupy and pourable. And as it cools off, and it will firm up. To finish off our peppermint white chocolate ganache, wind up taking our crushed peppermint canes, add them into the white chocolate ganache, stir it all around, and let this chill until it starts to become slightly firmer. At that point, it's ready to utilize for a filling um, or the uh, top of a cupcake. If you wind up letting the candy canes sit inside the chocolate, say overnight, the candy canes should actually soften up and become a little bit on the uh, spongy, sticky side, which is really fantastic as well. And that is our peppermint white chocolate ganache. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.